Today is mostly going to be pink. Hello, and welcome to another texturing and colouring, hot pink and black. If the plan goes to plan, how often does that ever happen though? Let's get on with it and see. Now, Roger Phoebe very kindly sent me a flap sanding disc. This is at 220 grit. This was finished at 240. I'm going to use this just to tidy up the little edges where it's a little bit ragged. Um, and uh, I should be able to put a link to, to these if you want a bit more information about them. So thank you very much, Roger. Let's give it a go. Yep, that's done a very nice job. Now I'm going to put acrylic paint in these little gaps. Uh, this is just a fun bit of fun. Sort of a quick sketch in wood and a trying out a finishing idea. Um, so let's get them sealed so the paint doesn't just wick into the wood too much. Now, I happened to be in Hobbycraft the other day and saw this for a pound. Hmm, this is going to be colourful. Now that really is very bright. Right, now I'm going to leave that to dry. Okay, so that's the pink done with. Now a bit of black, dry brushing over the top. I'm using a Pebeo Studio Acrylic if you want to know that kind of information. Okay, so I want some on the brush, but not so much that it's going to go into those grooves. So I'm wiping off the excess and then going for it. I like the sort of web look that's giving. That's probably better than I was expecting it to look. Now, I'm gonna leave that to dry off. Just got a little bit more here. It's smearing, dragging a little bit. I want there to be a more solid black. And I want there to be enough black on there so that I can give it a light sanding just to smooth it off bit in there I'm going to have to splodge over. Missed a bit with the pink. Okay I'm going to give that an hour or so to dry off. Actually I've still got a little bit of paint there. Let's put that on some of the thinner areas. Okay, here we are, ready for the second coat. Oh, put a bit thick there, didn't I? Look, it's covered all of those up. Clumsy, slow down. I don't mind where there's a little bit of black in there, it makes it Give it a little bit like those speed lines you get in cartoons. But there, that was a definite bit of error. While it's wet, just put a bit of the pink back anyway. 
got to go over that bit of black that's brought some of it back I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that though doesn't it look nice when it's spinning okay that's it leave that to dry then a very light sanding and then some lacquer Okay, that's the first coat done. 15 minutes later, coat two. And there we have it. Another in the increasing line of videos of different ways to colour and decorate platter rims. Someone said on Facebook it looked a bit like lathe measles. More on that in a moment. Obviously the colours are entirely up to you. I have gone for something rather bold and striking. I actually really like the pink. I like as well the intermittent nature of this texture as opposed to maybe the blue wave platter if you've watched that one where the, the carving is uh, is connected joined up um, the middle was just finished off I like to leave a wood wax finish in the middle that was uh, done with some cut and polish and then some micro crystalline wax so you get the nice wood feel against this I was gonna say plasticky against this glossy shiny outer rim um, but going back to lathe measles, my name for it, I think, might be Platterpox. And I don't think you'd want a dose of that. Thanks for watching. Platterpox. Well... <laughs>